In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up V, Claire Convex, and Polar for payments. So you're going to click on Generate an App. Vite is already selected. I want you to click on Clark and Convex. We want to select Polar for Payments, so I have Polar selected. Then we're going to click Setup Integrations. And then we have Clark, Convex, and Polar to set up. Let's start with Clark. So if you don't have an account already, create one. I already do, so I'm going to click on Sign In. I'm going to sign in with my Google account. You'll be prompted to this screen. I'm going to call this my Vite Polar Project. You can add any login provider as you please. I'm good with email and Google for now. We're going to click Create Application. We're going to click on React. And then we're going to scroll down. And where it says Set Up Your Clerk API Keys, I want you to copy everything after the equal sign. I don't want you to copy Vite Clerk underscore Publishable underscore Key. I want you to copy everything after the equal sign. Go back to Tempo and Paste. What you're then going to do is you're going to go back to Clerk, scroll up, click on Configure. You're then going to go to JWT Templates, click that. You're going to click on New Template, and you're going to select Convex. This is going to pop up. Make sure you click Save. And we're going to click back at the template, and we're going to stay here for, we're going to leave this page for now. Let's go back to Tempo, and it's now time to set up our Convex project. So let's go to Convex. Log in. If you don't have an account, it will prompt you to create an account. And then what you're going to do is you're going to create a project. Let's call this Vite Polar Project. My project's been created. I'm going to go to Settings, URL and Deploy Key. Click on Show Development Credentials. And I'm going to copy the deployment URL. I'm going to go back to Tempo and paste it here. I'm going to go back to Convex and I'm going to generate a development deploy key. We'll just name this V. I'm going to copy this key, paste it here. And there's one more thing we're going to have to do. We're going to go back to Convex and I want you to click on environment variables. I want you to go back to Clerk and we're going to copy this issuer. Click copy here. Go back to Convex and click on Add. We're going to name this Clerk underscore signing underscore key. Make sure it's named exactly like this with caps. Make sure to do Clerk underscore signing underscore key. And then paste the value in here and then click Save. We're going to go back to Tempo and it's now time to set up Polar. Now I want you to go to sandbox.polar.sh, not polar.sh, you want to go to sandbox.polar.sh because this is the test environment where we can build our application in test mode and not test with real money. When you're building an application, you definitely don't want to test with real money until you're ready to get into production. So we're just going to log in. I already have an account with GitHub, so I'm going to log in with GitHub. And if you have an account already, it'll look like this, but if you don't, you're going to be starting off from here. I'll call this organization Vite Polar SAS and click Create. I'm going to click on Settings. I'm going to copy Organization Identifier. Go back to Convex. You're going to go back to Environment Variables if you're not there already. Click Add. And here you're going to write Polar underscore Organization underscore ID. Please make sure it's spelled exactly like this paste here. Then we're going to add another key as well. So let's go back to Polar. You're going to scroll down and then at Developers, you're going to create a new token. We'll call this V. Expiration is no expiration. Select all scope and then create. Copy this key. Go back to Convex and this is going to be Polar Access Token. We're going to paste this here. This is looking good so far. There's one more thing we have to do. We have to go back to Polar and we have to set up our webhooks. I need to click Add Endpoint. Now it's asking me for a URL here. I need to go back to Convex. I'll save what I have now and then I'm going to click on URL and Deploy Key. I'm going to click on the drop down and then this HTTP Actions URL is what I need. I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go back to Polar and paste this. 
but I'm not done. I have to add a slash payments slash webhook. I have to add slash payments slash webhook. So this is exactly how it should look. I'm going to select the payload format. We're going to have it raw. And I'm going to click generate. I need to select all these events. So make sure all these events are selected. And I'm just going to copy this secret key and click create. My webhook has been created. I go back to convex, back to environment variables. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a polar underscore webhook underscore secret. And then you're just going to paste this in here and click save. I'm going to go back to tempo and I'm going to check all of these. There's one more thing I have to do. I have to go back to polar. And one thing that we highly encourage is that you create a test product before loading in your template. So you're going to click on new product. We'll just call this test product. We'll say this is test. We'll have it be a monthly subscription, $10 a month. And we're just going to create our product. Our product has been created. We can go back to tempo. And now let's set up our integration. I want to build a job recruitment portal. So I'm going to click on next. I see that my project is building and my template is loading in. And now you'll be prompted in with this modal. We have to connect our project with convex. And this modal helps you do that. All you have to do is click on open convex login. And just confirm. Once you've confirmed, you can close this tab. And you go back to tempo. And you can see running convex connect is now successful. One thing you'll have to do while your project is building is I want you to click on the view button and I want you to copy this URL. Then go back to convex, click add in environment variables and settings, and then add front end underscore URL, front end underscore URL, and then paste it in here. Make sure there is no slash afterwards. So dot AI dot whatever the URL may be, just make sure there's no slash at the end and then click save and then go back to tempo. And if you ever see an error like this where you get a convex error, all you have to do to fix it is go to convex and then click sync. And then once you get convex functions ready, just click on restart on the terminal. And our convex starter kit is ready to go. So we're just going to click the play button here and we see it here we see our ten dollar a month plan let's sign in i'm going to sign in with google I'm going to use my work email verify that i'm a human and we're back here if i click to go to dashboard paid notice how i'm taken to a not subscribed page it's because i have to pay so i'm going to click on get started monthly and I'm brought to the checkout. So I'm going to enter the fake uh, credit card credentials, 42, 42, 42. It has to be this number, by the way. And then we could just enter some random information. And we're going to click subscribe. And then I get success. I'm going to return back. If I click on tempo and then go to dashboard paid, I now have access to it. If I go back to convex and I click data, I'll see that my subscriptions table has been populated. I see that I have an active subscription and my user information is also here. Look at the changes the AI made. But ladies and gentlemen, that is how you set up a Vite, Clerk, Convex and Polar starter template in Tempo.